Hi, my name is Jan Libbinger. I'm from Bark and Limited Organics. And today's video will be about the feeding of our worm bin. Refresh your garden with the Bark Unlimited range of top quality organic products. Bark Unlimited Organics. Refresh nature. So on the back of the bin, there's a sticker that indicates which foods are allowed to go into this bin and which foods are better to avoid. So firstly what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the physical food that we've got available today to put into this bin and the ones we should avoid. Right, so the foods and items to be avoided is any uh, cardboard or maybe newspaper or magazines with a high gloss print on it. Uh, normally the high gloss print has got some chemicals into it which uh, may damage the worms and they don't like this so this we won't use. Then sharp smelling items like onions or garlic uh, is not a good item to put into your worm bin. Um, then all your citrus, um, this was, is better to go into your compost heap. Uh, the worms don't like this. The sk uh, skin of the citrus has got some oil in it and then obviously although um, lemon is uh, alkaline um, the, the, it, it does damage the worm because remember the worm doesn't really have a skin on the outside uh, to protect it like humans um, so they're very sensitive and then obviously uh, things like chilies um, they're also not good to put in there um, that's also a very sharp uh, um, herb and then obviously all your dairy products like milk, cream uh, and even uh, uh, stuff like cheese uh, it's better to avoid putting that into your bin and then your leftover meat and bones are also not a good thing to put into the bin this will attract flies, it will create smells and it might even attract rats or mice and we had a lovely steak and uh, it was vacuum packed and you'll see there's a little bit of blood left in the bottom of the bag and this is also not good for putting into your worm bin don't discard this, um, you can mix this with water and then use it as a fertilizer for your plants. Remember in one of our previous videos we discussed uh, the use of blood meal. Um, this is nothing different from blood meal, it's just in a liquid form and this is a valuable source of nitro nitrogen for your plants. So you can just um, dilute this with water and I'll show you how to do that. And we've taken some water from our rainwater harvesting tank and we're just going to pour that into the, into the bag and just dilute it. And then we will use this um, to water one of our plants. And we're just going to empty this onto our berry plant and this will be a valuable source of nitrogen for the berries. So this is basically the selection of uh, fruits and vegetables that you can't use and remember the dairy products, uh, high gloss paper, all the uh, 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 fatty um, things like oils and, and fat you can't put in there uh, and that's better to avoid that and remember no meat products, no bones um, as that will attract flies and, and gives the bin a bad odor. So now we're going to have a look at um, the valuable stuff, the things that we can actually put into the bin and uh, the stuff that the worms love and which they need. So what we've got here is we had some breakfast this morning and we saved the eggshells. This is a vital uh, source of uh, calcium for the worms and also they need the, the, the grit from the uh, shells for the, dig the digestive system. And we've also got uh, a spent squash. This one didn't develop very well in the garden, so um, we've uh, taken that off. And then last night we also had some butternut, and the worms actually love butternut, and this is just the pips and the, the inside that you can't really eat. And we've got some uh, old broccoli here, which, which we're also gonna put into the bin. This you've just got to be careful with uh, because this can also give off a bit of an odor but if you don't put in too much it's not a problem. And then uh, we picked a, po a pomegranate from our pomegranate tree last night and uh, it wasn't quite ripe yet but it was bursting open and uh, we're going to use this as well in our bin. Uh, other things that you can use are leafy greens, you can use um, some cardboard, and you can use some shredded newspaper. Remember, it must just not be the high gloss paper, but the, the normal newspaper is excellent for the worms. They actually thrive on this. And if you look on page two in our booklet that comes with the kit, 
you will see there's all the, the foods that are not good for the worms are, are listed and uh, I've actually left out all the salt and sugar and stuff like that that you don't add to the bin and then there's also a list of all the beneficial foods that are listed in the manual so it's leafy greens fruits vegetables uh, the crushed eggshells we talk, talked about uh, you, all your tea bags coffee grinds now if you if you don't have coffee grinds you can always go to a coffee shop and just ask them for a, a little bag of the spent coffee grinds they're extremely good for the um, worms and then uh, like i said the newspaper you can even use the egg cartons and cardboard um, and all of these are, are good for the worms and if you if you don't have enough of the good stuff uh, remember your kit comes with a bag of the bark and limited organics compost and that you can also if you don't have uh, food scraps you can add about a three centimeter layer of compost on top of your worm bin and um, that will be adequate food for the worms for about a week so adding all the good foods to your worm bin all the leftovers from last night or the day before um, the, like we said in the manual you can put the, the uh, pieces in whole but it's always better to, to cut it up into smaller sections and that will make it a lot easier for the, for the worms to, to uh, get to and to digest. And we can take all of this, uh, even the broccoli, and we can just cut that into smaller uh, pieces um, to make it easier to put into the bin, even the pumpkin or the um, butternut. Um, worms love butternut and they're also very fond of papaya and then uh, the pomegranate we can also just um, cut into smaller pieces but um, and the eggshells remember the eggshells you can just crush them and that can also get added to our mix that goes into the worm bin so this is very time consuming and it, uh, it's also dangerous to cut with a sharp knife you can cut your fingers and so on but i've got a shortcut and a secret which i want to share with you Please don't tell my wife I used a liquidizer for this. So I've borrowed my wife's liquidizer from the kitchen and we're going to add all of this into the liquidizer and we're going to uh, mush it up for the worms and make it even finer, smaller particles and that will make it a lot easier for them to digest it. So we need to add some water to this. And remember, we've taken water from our rainwater harvesting tank. Um, this is clean water. It's got no chemicals or anything in it like the water in town. Okay. And then we can also add some pieces of cardboard to it. Um, this will thicken up the slurry that we're going to make for the worms. And remember to put the lid on before you start it. And then we can just switch it on. And that should be adequate and and if you look at this it's all mushed up and this is a lot easier for the worms to digest okay so now we're going to put the food into the bin and we'll take the lid off and remember we put in some uh, pieces of cardboard and newspaper in the top to keep the moisture in so we just need to remove this and we're going to put this back on top once we've done the feeding and uh, Right, so there's another piece of cardboard on top and once we lift this you can see some of the worms actually came up to feed at the top and uh, just to check on the the rest of the worms we'll see um, there are plenty of worms in here so you can see the worms there and we're just going to level this out again so we're going to add this chopped up food to our worm bin just like that a thin layer and uh, don't worry about we'll just rinse it and add a little bit of water as this bin is slightly too dry uh, but we don't want to put in too much water so don't forget to add some worm chow to your worm bin this is also a vital component as the worms need the vitamins and minerals so we're going to take one scoop of worm chow and this is a very well balanced uh, 
supplement for the worms with all the vit vitamins and minerals and you can just sprinkle this on top of the food that you've put into the worm bin and this you can do once a week when you feed your worms and that should be adequate and that will be adequate food for the worms for the next week so what we need to do now is we're going to put back this layer of cardboard as we've said the worms like being in a dark place and we're also going to take all of these small pieces of cardboard and um, newspaper and add this back to our bin okay. so we'll just give it a slight sprinkling of water um, to stop it to stop the soil from drying out and then we can put the lid bag and there you go your worms are fed for the next week so in a week's time we're going to repeat the process all right so now that we've fed our worms we can put the worm bin back in the in the place where we normally store it remember it must be stored out of direct sunlight and preferably not in a place where it gets rained on and now i just need to wash the liquidizer and put it back in the kitchen before my wife finds out what i've done with the liquidizer so for more information on our products and on the worm bins, you can go to our website at www.barkunlimited.co.za. Alternatively, you can contact our office, our contact details are on the website. And if you're interested in purchasing a worm bin like this and you're not in our area, you can go to your local nursery, pay for it there and they will get it for you. And within a week, we can have it delivered to the nursery where you can pick it up. And if you like this video and found the information useful, please remember to hit the like button. If you want to subscribe to our channel, you're more than welcome and we will forward you all the latest videos. Refresh your garden with the Bark Unlimited range of top quality organic products. Bark Unlimited Organics. Refresh nature.